hello, welcome back to another episode. We are going to Manuel Antonio National Park. <laughs> the park is a tiny, the tiniest park in the whole of Costa Rica, but it has a huge amount of wildlife. And it's voted number two of the parks to go to here. We've been to Arnold, so you can check out our Costa Rica video. Um, but this time we're going to go and see if we can find some slots. channel. Hi, I'm JB. And I'm Tash. Good morning, my love. Good morning. Not sure how we actually purchase tickets there. So there's not a lot of information. They said we must purchase online. When I tried to purchase online, it was took me through all these different websites and I was just, I gave up. I hate, hate. Websites don't work properly. <laughs> right in the article is that there's a whole bunch of vendors before you get into the national park that try and scam you. Yeah, of Yeah. So we need to make sure that well we obviously we check out Well I wish I should have caught that on camera. That was pretty intense, huh my love? Yeah. You okay? That's fine. So those scammers are real. <laughs> yeah, very aggressive. Yeah. And jump on, on your car for you oh, to no. stop from like, yeah, they you know, jump in front. Like, I like you don't do that. Eh? So, there is officially no sign indicating the entrance. Basically, you have to know who to second. trust, considering yeah. you can't trust anyone, it's very tricky. Very it's like, I don't understand how this is actually like, I, it's the national park of Costa Rica. How is this not? Yeah, it's not safe at all. Like, not safe. There's not so safe. many people which are. Like trying to scam you in like a space of a hundred meters. So we just went to the end, end, end of the road to this hotel. Uh, you probably like you have to consume later uh, to a park there. Parking is free, but you have to consume. But basically, all the parking around you have to pay. So you have to choose who you want to give your money to to look after your car. How do you oh. get to here? This section. Okay. Right on the Eden Street. Okay, so I still think we're gonna go through a whole bunch of them. Oh yeah. Hello. Hello. Hello thank you. Ah. Okay. Ah, okay. So okay. So we, so we found a la, 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 the entrance. Seem to be there. So it's definitely not through where the Google uh, very like basically Google direct you into a trap. Yeah. This is basically Google lead you into a trap. Eighteen dollar. Yeah. You buy your own ticket on the computer. Because I think what you have to do is you have to register your passport number and that's, oh, stuff. Yeah. So that's probably why you pay the extra $2. And you pay $2 okay. if someone has to do it for you. So. Oh, this is the computer? So you do it or want me to do it? I'll do it. You okay. do it. And then, uh, uh, finish? Wait, let me just take one yes. more picture. Okay. Uh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, you get it. So the entrance is here. Then you get to register on this computer there. And once you have your Number one, you pay with your credit card. You have to go, I guess, there to actually enter like the checkpoint. So, but the process, uh, I guess, if it's high season, if it's crowded, it can take some time because there is one computer. So obviously, better to do it online if you can. If you find a way, we didn't, but we knew it wouldn't be like crowded, so it worth it to try our luck here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, get the number? Uh, 9D4E68. Uh, this is like cafeteria, so maybe we can make our way down. So you can also pay for the for a guide with this big camera to shoot animal. I don't know how much it was. It was fifty five dollars per person. Wow! Well, so you, if you I can. I saw one though on Airbnb, which had a really good rating for thirty five dollars. Yes. So definitely, if you can bring your own camera and zooming thing, it will be worth it, I guess, because it must be nice to spot animals. Yeah. 
Oh yeah? yeah. Oh, so they're like Thai, the Thailand monkeys, like. Like, uh, like in Bali, it's the same. They're very yeah. like sneaky. They try to steal everything that like, stick out. They take it out, like your glasses. Yep, that's what they're doing. Whoa. Oh. So. Yeah. Very yeah so you can't have anything. Even your glasses, you have to be careful. Yeah. 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 Like. That's something that they're learned throughout throughout their years here. Yeah. Yeah. And it's really funny because in some cases with tourists, what they do is that a couple of monkeys come down yeah. to uh, entertain the, the tourists and they leave the things behind and pay uh, attention to the monkeys and then the other ones come behind and take and their wow. bags and their food wow, and everything. That's crazy. So it's like a mafia. Yeah. It really does feel like Jurassic Park. Like all these birds feel like, what do you call those big dinosaur birds? Something in your tree, Tash? Yeah, there's the trees moving at the top there, but I literally cannot see anything. A lot of leaf falling here. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's against the light. You yeah. can't see. It's like the sun is right. I don't know if the monkeys and sloths spend time together. <laughs> um. <laughs> My neck is broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the estates, farming areas, fruits, and wood trees. So, this whole area was actually created. Yeah, so it's Disneyland. Jungle Disneyland. Like kind of in the discussion that we realized that this national park is more about this beach behind me as you can see rather than i think the animal life and we're really happy that we didn't spend 35 dollars each to try and like look through a binocular to try and find a sloth i mean it's beautiful and on this region the central region most of the beaches are black so it kind of makes sense, I guess, to come and spend some time at the beach. But, um, what was I going to say? The issue is that you can't bring food. And yeah. I really don't want to eat, like that food looks so gross. Yeah, it's like, and you're going to create more plastic by buying their food yeah. than bringing their own food. Exactly, so, so to be honest, like I think if they had to go, okay, you can bring your food, but you cannot, you can't, Throw your food here. Yeah, because I mean, I would have loved to have spent the yeah. whole day at this beach now. Yeah. But I'm starving and I'm not eating it. Yeah, that's the problem. So we're gonna go and take a, round, a look around this section of the island, which looks like a little bit of like a jungle. Actually, quite pretty. Sloths are also known to be all the way at the top of the trees, and they're small, so it's actually kind of hard to find them. The couple we just saw now said that they saw some in the Caribbean. And most of the time they were too high up. Oh. oh. That's pretty intense. It's definitely to avoid animals crawling up it. This is pretty pokey. Yeah. yeah, you wouldn't be able to climb that, right? Oh, no, no, no. no. Yeah, it's really too pokey. Really Here, yeah, that was a fail for the sloth, but. It's still a beautiful location. Do not steal my coconut. So we were just inside there. Like it's not terrible, this is quite beautiful actually. We have come during winter for rain season rain. and it was raining a bit today and we, I did overhear a guide, say, a guide saying that normally when it rains like the sloths curl up into little walls and you won't be able to see them. And 
from our experience in the last three months, whenever it rains, you never really see animals. So yeah, they're all waiting for the sun to come out to yeah. start leave and uh, dry. And so the best time is like when the sun is out and when an early morning, because early morning they're feeding and stuff. Exactly. Breakfast so maybe time. it was our fault that we didn't see. Yeah, maybe we were. <laughs> we just... chose the wrong day. Yeah, bad timing. But... Like I, I really enjoyed the hike. Yeah, for the uh, region. Got some, like exercise. The beach is beautiful. But the diversity, I'm not sure about. Like, yeah. maybe I needed a guide to explain more things to me, or uh, but, uh, it's overpriced for me. Yeah. Um, the biggest issue was with us was the food. I mean, we only found out like just before we left that we couldn't have food here. If that was the case, I probably wouldn't have come. If I had known about it, it's a whole day thing. Like it's a yeah. It's like a good seven hours of walking. And then you take food away from me? <laughs> nah, you never uh -huh. take away food from away from Dutch. So. <laughs> I do want to point out that I'm not sh like I, I definitely think if you want to come here, you need to do a tour. Um, yeah. I don't want to say that it's a it's a money making scam or I don't know. It's just for us, it's not our vibe. Yeah. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed our random video of seeing one deer and a bird and <laughs> a hamster looking thing. Um, but now you know what it looks like, I guess. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.